Shana Tova and Gmar Chatima Tova. Wish everyone a very happy new year and also a sweet ceiling for a new year of health and happiness and fulfillment. Well, Yom Kippur is coming soon. Um, not everybody's favorite holiday. Uh, it happens to be one of my favorite holidays, and I'm actually looking forward to Yom Kippur this year especially because it happens to fall on my 60th birthday. So uh, I'm going to be celebrating even as I'm fasting and, uh, and praying with you. But um, I wanted to begin actually in another place uh, with a little greeting that um, Pope Francis I sent to one of the leaders of the Argentine Jewish community. He uh, gave him a message to be spread to the entire community and, and by extension to the entire Jewish world that um, for the New Year celebrations, uh, Jews should eat less and spend more time in synagogue. Now this is, I think, very good advice in general because we have a whole category of Jewish people these days that are mainly gastronomic Jews and uh, they feed uh, the, the body um, but tend to ignore the spirit. This is a common malady these days. We live in a, a very materialistic civilization and so I suppose it's only natural that many Jews follow this path. But the whole idea of Yom Kippur is to turn that equation on its head because for 25 hours we're actually leaving the body behind and hopefully focusing on the spirit. Now when we leave the body behind by not feeding it for 25 hours or even taking a drink of water, uh, it has a, a very direct and um, felt kind of vacuum and, and discomfort on the uh, abdominal level. And so that's the first thing you notice uh, when, when you're fasting on Yom Kippur, that it's not so comfortable physically. But I maintain that if you stay with that and you just um, witness it without um, telling a bunch of stories about it, without uh, suffering over your suffering, if you will, uh, what happens is you make a kind of breakthrough. Um, medical people I know have called this ketosis, where um, suddenly you get a kind of second wind and you feel that you're getting your energy from a different place from which it usually comes. Uh, maybe it's the body um, starting to um, energize from itself. But the feeling that that um, gives me is one of great spiritual exhilaration, a feeling of uh, great independence from the physical, and the ability to focus finally on the spirit in a way that is uh, not obstructed by physical needs and physical discomfort. And I think this is one of the big reasons why we fast on Yom Kippur. It's a way of demonstrating that the physical is not the most important thing in life. It may be the most obvious thing in our life, but it's not the most important thing because, as it says in the book of Deuteronomy, human beings do not live by bread alone, but rather by every word that proceeds from the, word, from the, from the mouth of God. So Yom Kippur is that chance to experience how the words of God how our spiritual ideals, how our spiritual experiences are actually what uphold our lives. And food, yes, very important. Water, perhaps even more important for sustaining the physical organism. But one day a year to see how the mind is actually superior to the body and the spirit is superior to the mind. And if we can get that experience, at least on Yom Kippur, we will have learned something very, very valuable about the way we can conduct our lives in general. The Day of Atonement can actually then become the Day of at one -ment. at one -ment with God, at one -ment with Spirit, at one -ment with the influence of purity, which can govern our lives and transform our lives very much for the better. So I want to wish you an easy fast. Again, Gemar Chatimatova, a sweet ceiling for a beautiful new year of life, and uh, may we enjoy together on Yom Kippur this year.